So what do we need to live good lives and how, could, how should we handle how we do, what we do together to maintain the possibilities to live good lives, both for us and for those who come after us, and for all people in the world also. Uh, I, when I think about these things, I quite often start to think roughly here. Now you have to use your imagination. This is Earth. I run into this little snug. That I generally have a picture, one of these nice uh, uh, pictures from space on Earth here. But, but then there were these... Uh, um, I wasn't totally sure about the copyright on that picture, so I replaced it with this one. So now you need to use your imagination. But that's a good thing, because to create the future and a good future, we need a lot of imagination. But this is Earth. Uh, the thing with Earth is that we have one of it. Uh, if, well, that's not the only thing. It's very nice that we have it also, uh, and we can walk around in it, on it and like that, things like that. But, but from uh, my perspective, when I'm thinking about sustainability and limitations for the future for sustainability, this fact that there is one of them is rather important. It's also so, perhaps you were like me when I was younger. I'm a little bit like that now also. I like to read science fiction. If you like to read science fiction or, or are involved in that type of thinking, that then we tend to go to other ones of these. Uh, but, but I can also say that from my background, as before I became heavily involved in environmental science, I, I am also an engineer in my profession. And as an engineer, from my engineering background, I can say that within foreseeable future, or at least the future that we re decently can plan for, we won't go to any others of these. So far we have, we have been able to send, what is it, perhaps 100 people out in space, and none of them actually went to another one of these. Some of them went to the moon. They had to come back rather fast, otherwise they would have died. So, so, so we have one of these. And, and actually, now I it's actually rather small uh, uh, from the whole perspective uh, of, uh, if you start to look at it from universal perspective. So this is something that we need to keep in mind and increasingly we do that, but I would say not enough. On that planet, we're quite a lot of people who live here and we're an increasing amount of people living here. Uh, this uh, we, we often think of as a problem, to some extent it could be. A good thing is that we're more people who can imagine things. So it's not only bad, uh, but we have to, it's something that we have to take into, into account when we plan and think about the future. Uh, of those people, now we're somewhere here, six, seven billion people, uh, quite a lot of them have actually a rather dreadful lives. We need to change that, I would say. That's a political statement, by the way. You have to bear with me. Uh, I do not think it's acceptable that, that there is a billion people without uh, clean drinking water or sanitation or, or enough food for their kids. Uh, so, so that is things we need to change. And we need to do it so that it fits on that one planet because we only have one of them. Uh, sometimes we, we uh, especially we who live in the Western world, we think of, ooh, but you know, it increases all the time. <sighs> this will be so troublesome. Uh, might be so, but there's another thing that increases much faster. That's actually consumption per person in, for example, Sweden. Uh, that is actually a stronger driver than population growth because connected to that consumption is that we use materials, we use fuels, we use energy, and uh, things like that. And those things are to a large extent what creates the challenges we stand in for. Um, then there are, when we start to think about that, then we easily sometimes start to think, oh, but there are, there, when I grew up, it was this, Think about when the guys in China all want one car. 
Yeah, why shouldn't they when we want one car? Because we, we often think, okay, we should be able to increase our consumption like this, but they should not be able to. I think we need to think uh, we have that planet and then all people should decently have some sort of good lives. So, so uh, that sets uh, interesting restrictions. And since I'm an engineer, I, I like to you get then a kind of multi-dimensional uh, optimization problem. That's not, nothing strange. We do that in industry all the time. We do it in business all the time. We don't really know if we will sell products in future. We, we still, we, we still uh, are able to do lots of things. Uh, but, but if we can, uh, can move away some of, of the uh, things that varies, then it's easier. And I would say, even if we know, now saw this, this line, it's the increasing population, that is to a large extent, or, or at least we, we are still increasing world population, but if we actually look at the prognosis into future, we, we actually now believe that it's not like this any longer, it's more like it's leveling off population increase. And, and that doesn't happen because of things like one uh, child policy in China. It depends on things like empowerment of women, that uh, people should have basic possibilities to read and write, learn that as kids, and, and that we should eradicate uh, the most horrendous parts of poverty. Then population increase levels off. And we have worked with that, and that is also the prognosis just now, that we level off somewhere about 10 billion people on Earth. Now, we have actually started to think so much about terrorism, so we have, started, so we have stopped thinking a little bit about this empowerment of women uh, and eradication of, of extreme poverty. So now, now, now this prognosis has gone up a little bit, so, but, but it's still so that until uh, 2100, we, we believe we're roughly 10 billion people. For me as engineer, that's uh, great, because then I have a boundary condition, 10 billion, uh, that's constant, let's go for that. Then solve the problem. <laughs> that's what we should do. One planet, 10 billion people. So, uh, I don't think it's enough actually with 10 billion people, because we still don't want some of them to live dreadful lives. So, I think we should really plan for 10 billion happy people. Uh, uh, so, so, and the, then it is this thing with the planet also. So, uh, here, kind of the goal, 10 billion happy people, within the boundaries set by the ecosystems of one planet. No, that's what we should do. Here, here it is, with boundaries, just solve it. It's nothing impossible. We have gone to the moon. Why should this be hard? Uh, actually, uh, it is a challenge. I, I would agree to that. But, but it's not in any way impossible. <clears throat> one, one of the important challenges that I see when in research and teaching uh, in this area uh, is that one of the problems is that we need quite a lot of perspectives. Because now I started with this, oh, the whole planet, we are one of them, 10 billion people. What does that mean to me? That's something very different in my everyday life. And here we need to shift perspectives from, from global to local, from global to local, and sometimes regional in the middle. And we have to think of Quite often when we talk today, we talk about Ooh, climate change. I'm among those guys who actually believe climate change is a little bit worse of a problem than, than the IPCC reports say. And still, I don't think climate change is our worst problem. We, we, there are more problems at the same time. We need to be able to shift perspectives among states and among problems and solve this at the same time. But it's not, you know, it's not absolutely impossible. Most of you have done this already. You have raised children. It's not just one thing. It's not give them food, <laughs> finished. It's not like that. It's lots of things at the same time. This is just the s more of it. So we, we can do this if we allow ourselves to shift perspectives in the way that we do in ordinary lives. Uh, another problem is Something, if we, we, we tend to, this is a problem, this SMS loans in Swedish, payday loans in English, that <laughs> uh, 
uh, we, we rapid, small loans, easy to get. I consume it up, then, oops, I have a debt, uh, and then I want more things, so I borrow a little bit more, both for debts and more things. It, most of us understand that that is at least not good. Then it's a lure there, so you perhaps do the wrong thing anyway. Uh, but most of us don't really see that we actually do roughly the same thing towards the resources we have in the, uh, at this planet. We, we tend to think that, ah, we borrow it now. We basically borrow from our children. Because we have quite a lot of resources, and if I, we now focus down a, a little bit from this whole planet and to, uh, to Jemtland, the region of Jemtland, we're really blessed because we have lots of resources. There's lots of clean water, there's uh, lots of forests, there's lots of space to do the ecological farming that Fia talked about here earlier. In, and there's lots of possibilities and lots of good people. Uh, so, so we need to think of how to use them, remembering that we just have one planet and we are part of that one planet. So, so we, we shouldn't really use them up without thinking, but in a smart way, because it's very easy to think, okay, we use them up. I have a large, fat bank account, just use the money. Most of us actually when it comes to money, we understand that that's not the way to do it. Because the money will run out if I don't have an extremely fat bank account. Very few of us have that. We, we, we might have money for a while there, but we, we tend to think of our pensions and things like that at the retirement. We can't just use up everything. Then, then we don't have it. We, we can't do that with resources either. So we, we need to think about that. Uh, so, so we need to think of it more like we do in economy, actually, uh, live on the revenue. And then set up systems so that it creates good revenue and smart revenue in a smart way. Um, and when we do that, we cannot cheat. An easy way to cheat is that the most troublesome stuff, we buy it from somewhere else. And then we pretend that, that th those bad things doesn't happen over there. Or, and anyway, it's their fault, not ours, when we buy stuff produced somewhere else. Uh, actually, some of the things like this one, uh, or, or electronics used here, is a little bit like that, where, where we need rather special resources to, uh, of rare earth metals, for example, that we tend to uh, not want mind close to us. Let's buy it from somebody else. But we can't cheat in the long run. Even if we have to interact, that we have to take that into account, that what we do locally actually sometimes hits somebody else. So we need to be smart. And in this being smart, we need to shift perspectives and look at many different things. That's why TED Talks are really great, because I don't need to tell you the solution, because there isn't one solution. We will have to shift perspectives and take in many different types of things that jointly create solutions. So listen to other TED Talks, because there isn't one answer. There's a full set of answers that we create together. I will only send with you that I think it's quality more than volume. That, that's uh, one important thing there. If we create value by creating quality instead of doing more of the same all the time. Uh, and there we will, both today and in other TED Talks available, we, we have many such possibilities available. So, so the, the largest problem is probably get us going. Because here we all come in. It's not enough with my ideas. It's not enough with any single person's idea. It's we need to do this together, to get going, to, to do things together, aware of the total limitations, but not letting that make us despair, but, but actually saying, OK, so then I do this, and we do this together, because then, together, 
here in Jämtland and globally, we can reach the goal that we can have 10 billion happy people within the boundaries of the ecosystems of one planet. Thank you for listening. <laughs>